Boeing has been making planes for over a hundred years. The first was a little biplane that you'd have to be brave to go up in. Since then, the business has segued into a global manufacturer. But how much do you know about the evolution of Boeing? Boeing's first plane was a single-engine biplane seaplane called Boeing Model 1. It had a gross weight of 1,272 kilograms, a wingspan of 52 feet, a length of 27 feet, and a range of over 500 kilometers at a maximum speed of 120 kilometers per hour. Made of spruce wood, the Model 1 was held together with wire bracing. After World War I, like a lot of startup airlines at the time, Boeing was kept busy with airmail contracts and flying freight. In September 1929, Boeing's first true all-passenger aircraft took flight. The Boeing 80A was a biplane with three engines that could carry 18 passengers. Just four years later, in 1933, Boeing launched its Model 247 aircraft. The 247 had an all-metal semi-monocoque construction made of anodized aluminium. The plane featured a cantilevered wing, trim tabs, and retractable landing gear. Despite the advances in design, the 247 was too small to be a commercial success. It could carry only 10 passengers. What it did represent was technological progress. It took Boeing the best part of the decade to overcome the size issue. But in 1938, Boeing launched the biggest passenger plane of the era. The Boeing 314 was developed for and sold to Pan American. It could carry up to 90 passengers. With a length of 106 feet, a wingspan of 152 feet, and a gross weight of over 38 tons, the Boeing 314 had a range of nearly 6,000 kilometers. Pan American went on to fly the aircraft around the world. The World War II intervened, and Boeing's focus swung away from passenger aircraft to military planes. Boeing went into the bomber business, building a large number of B-17 and B-29 bombers. If you remember the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which killed millions of people. B-29 was used to carry out and drop the bomb there. Business boom for the duration of the war. But when World War II ended, so too did the demand for bombers. In circumstances not dissimilar to today, Boeing laid off tens of thousands of workers. It also pivoted back to passenger planes. But Boeing's first post-war foray in passenger planes wasn't successful. The Model 377 Stratocruiser was not a commercial success. It was a luxurious four-engine aircraft not well suited to an economically straightened post-war era. It eventuated that Boeing would spend much of the decade after the war chasing military business. Boeing successfully developed military jets such as the B-47 Stratojet and B-52 Strato Fortress bombers. But Boeing did parley the know-how and processes learned here into developing passenger planes, starting with the famous Boeing 707. The Boeing 707 was the first commercial jetliner of the modern era. Boeing began delivering them in 1958. Pan American was the launch customer. Over the next 20 years, 865 would be built and delivered to airlines all around the world. In 1960, Boeing introduced a lighter short-range variant of the 707. 
Called the Boeing 720, it is arguably the least known and least successful of all Boeing's planes made between 1958 and the present day. Boeing sold 154 of their 720s over the next 10 years, with United Airlines the launch customer. On many attributes, the Boeing 720 was a superior aircraft to the Boeing 707, but it never really took off. Boeing discontinued production in 1967. Far more successful was the Boeing 727, which flew in 1964 with the now defunct Eastern Airlines. Boeing made over 1,800 of the aircraft types over the next 22 years. It was to be Boeing's only trijet. Memories may recall the rear boarding and T-tail. Later that decade, in 1968, the first Boeing 737 left the factory floor. 52 years later, Boeing still manufactures the aircraft type. With the notable exception of the MAX, the Boeing 737 has become the workhorse of the skies and is sustained. In 1970, Boeing sent out the first of its 747 jets. This aircraft would go on to become commercial aviation's most iconic plane. The four-engine jumbo jet went on to revolutionize flying. Boeing sold over 1,500 over the years. Over the following decades, we've seen Boeing roll out more aircraft types, the 717, 757, 767, 777, and 787. Earlier this year, Boeing announced their plans for the 797 were on hold. So if you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel. My channel has all the flavors from unboxing to educational animated videos. If you like my content, feel free to press the bell icon and activate the notifications so that you don't miss any update. Also, I see 90% of my viewers are not my subscribers. Well, think about it. Till then, bye-bye, stay safe, and take care of yourself.